Welcome to a new Sprawl Box challenge! Today's box includes only things from Spectrum Noir. This is some sort of coloring book which describes itself as a premium marker pad, which suggests that the paper is suitable with alcohol-based markers. As you can see, there are shiny details on the paper, which makes this book look even more interesting. What I also received is a CD with different kinds of tutorials and tips for the use of the Spectrum Noir products. The featured artist of this box is Rebecca Löchler. I spelled it in German, I know, because it sounds like a German name to me. And here you can find some links to find her art on different pages. <coughs> yeah, of course there's like always candy inside. And I wonder if it's just randomly choose candy or if it's the favorite candy of the artist. And the challenge name of this scroll box is... Oh my! What a huge surprise! Design a coloring page. Of course I received some more materials. The Spectrum Noir Colorista are wax-based coloring pencils and came in a range of bright colors. Next are the Colorista markers. They came in the colors pure green and hot pink, which is more a shocking pink, like you will see later on. They have a fine nib on one side and a much more fine nib on the other side. There's no chisel nib. The Sakura Identity Pen is a black permanent marker, which is waterproof and fade resistant. It has also a dual tip of a fine fiber tip and an extra fine plastic bullet for more detailed work. This one is my favorite out of this box, because it's a brush pen full of magical, glittery unicorn tears. Feeling excited now? Because I was really curious about the materials, I just tested them on one of the paper sheets which came with this box. You can see the waxy texture of the pencils very well. The application felt very smooth and the pencils are very high pigmented. The colors are beautifully bright. Maybe it's not the right paper for these markers, but I really like the colors of them. The identity pen is a quite solid pigment marker. Now testing if the lines will smear through the marker. As far as you can see, they don't smear. They are only bleeding with the color. So they do bleed if you use them first for line work and then start to color with a marker. Now comes the most orgasm part of this video. Testing the magic tears of unicorns on a dark piece of paper. Enjoy it.
one part is over. Okay, let's do the challenge. For the background, I'm using the colorista marker. Because filling the empty spaces goes much faster with the marker. Uh-huh. After filling the background, I'm using the blue pencil of the colorista set and add some sort of fog through cross-hatching. So I don't see butterflies in a happy and sunny setting. In my imagination they are flutter in a dark mystical world, surrounded by a hauntingly beautiful scent. I think this is a great imagination. What's your imagination of butterflies? With a yellow pencil I add some highlights in the background. I think yellow and pink are a great color combination. For the wings of the butterfly I always add blue for shadows. It's the darkest color in the set so to make it match with the background I use the same color. I really like the gold foil on the paper and how beautiful it shimmers. See how beautiful it is? Mm. 
Now we are at the end of the video, but hey wait! Do you want to win the set? Of course you will get also the finished colored page and the magical unicorn tears. So what do you have to do to get a chance to win the set? Well, let's see. First you need to make sure to subscribe to my channel. Okay, check. And then I'd like to know why do you want to win the set? Let me know in the comments. The winner will be announced on my Instagram page next Friday. So, see you in my next video. Bye!